Welcome back to another exciting episode from Cambria and Bobby. In today's episode, we are outside enjoying time with all of our animals. Cambria eats some brunch that I made her. Mmm. And I may have just destroyed our closet doors. Let's see if I can get out of this mess. All that and more, so stick around. Oh, yeah. So I'm making myself, uh, it's basically a brunch, still still before noon, but uh, this would be my first meal of the day. So a brunch. So I got uh, quail egg, a lot of quail eggs. So we got quail eggs, uh, some sausage, oh yeah, sausage. And then uh, we got some cheese. Um, so I figured before I flip it and put it together, we got ourselves a, a very keto-y uh, brunch here. Oh my goodness, yeah, there we go, get it. Oh, come on, flip more, flip, flip more. All right, maybe it's not gonna wanna flip for me so well, but that's okay, that's okay. For the most part, we got it here. So, uh, yeah. It'd still be fine. It'd still be fine. A little, little more eggy on this side, but uh, it'll work. But yeah, <clears throat> used uh, butter. So we got butter and all your other good stuff. So my Ketovor brunch. I don't know where Cam oh, Cambria's at the store, so she doesn't get to partake in this unless she gets home here in the next couple minutes because once it's off of here, uh, it's gonna be devoured pretty quick, so. So I know in the last video, it was dark out when the store was done, but there you go. See, see what I'm talking about? The light and everything coming through. It is so much better to have that light up the room more. And my gap, look at, it expanded. It's all sealed. So like I said, I put a piece on the door and a piece attached to the cement. So here, you can see it. So that's what it is, right there. And then it just seals it all up, you know, inside here. So, yeah. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. There you go. What do you think, Bailey? You like having that door? I'll tell you what I like. I like this couch. I saw you move your tail. That counts. That counts as a yes. And you talking to me counts as cuddle time? <laughs> oh, not you, you got the mini? Mini? Bailey definitely likes his dog room, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, this room is awesome. You got a Bjorn butt. Hopefully my food's good. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Got home in time. She ate, ate about a third to uh, half of it. That was funny. Let's see, we'll it's perfect. I wasn't gonna eat the whole thing anyways. I started eating that thing and I'm like, oh, my tummy's filling really quick. Hopefully Cambria gets home. <laughs> so it's still warm and it was. Xander got new jeans and Freya got a new outfit. Hey, let's, let me see your outfit, Freya. Let me see it. You don't have to come super close. Oh my, my goodness, you're too close. There we go. More cozy, warm clothes. What's that? what are what are these? Are these like rainbow hearts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got sweatpants. Yeah. Still no shoes on or no socks, but that's how she rolls. Are you cozy now? Yeah. Xander has more jeans. Yep, and Xander finally has more than one one jean. <laughs> Except I was explaining to him why I don't buy him more than two to three pairs at a time. It's because it only fit him for usually. A little six bit. Months at a time. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I 
I'm not going to buy a whole wardrobe worth of clothes. Knowing that they're always growing. Uh -huh. Eventually they'll get to a size where they have a bigger wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. And they have a lot more shorts. Because 99% of the time... They're wearing shorts. Yeah, that's true. So they don't need a whole lot of jeans because there's just, they just don't wear them. Yeah. Like today, it's cold. Yeah. Frey is playing with the toilet guys again. Right? Toilet guys? Skib toilets? I'm out of my room. We got Cambria out here filming. We got Minnie out being a crazy girl. But look at this. At first, I thought maybe she's like having stuff ready for. You're know, like, oh, what are we gonna have for dinner? Now, just organizing. This is what she does a lot. You, you guys, just see the in, in. Uh, see, here's the shot. This is what you guys see, but this is what it really looks like out here. <laughs> I come out and I'm like, what's this mess? Then Freya, look at Freya and her. Look. At, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, what is that, oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. Oh. So, yeah. So, we found out that for Minnie to get on the couch, she needs a little boost. So, that's why there's a pillow on the ground. She runs, jumps like a trampoline, and then she can get on the couch. Right, Minnie? Don't tell them I need a pillow. Uh oh. Don't pay attention to her. Don't pay attention to me. me. I'm more lovable. All right, I'll feed you. Uh, oh, I Minnie's mean, like, oh, I want to. Where's eat the food? Too. Where's the food? Give me the food. Give me the food. Come on, Dad. Give me the food. Give me the food. 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 Minnie's, Minnie likes, she likes playing with toys. She's probably our most playful dog ever. Come here. Hey, hey. She's got three balls over there. So she's playing with it once. Go away. Go away. And Minnie and Freya are very similar. They like playing in the dirt. Minnie dug that hole. Freya's filling it. But either way, they both like playing in dirt. So... Oh. This is the dog side of the yard. There's that little blue gate over there, which then you can get over to the duck side of the yard, but it's closed, so. And then if you say, oh, that's not fair, the dog's at a small side. Well, it comes all the way over here too. Bailey likes laying over there. Bailey digs too, he's a jerk. I move my garbage cans so they can go out. And this boy, look at this. It's got dirt all over my cement slab here because he was digging. There you go. So the dogs have a nice long stretch where they can run back and forth, get their zoomies out. Minnie really only needs this side of the yard. But if Bailey's running, he's got all that stretch to run back and forth. So hopefully that answers your question of where the dogs actually their side and where they play. It's over here. Gotta dig, gotta dig, 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 dig. Gotta do it fast. Dig, 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 dig. Xander spending time with the ducks. See, Minnie gets along with the ducks, no problem. She just hangs out in the yard, minds her own business. While the ducks are just out. Something's in this grass. It tastes delicious. Good thing we don't have anything growing in the garden. You'd eat it all. We did eat whatever plants yeah. he had left. Yeah, Bailey over here. I want to go in this side of the yard. Don't ya? <laughs> Open the gate. Let me out. I want to play. What? Yeah, it's a little bit too high for you to just step over. Not without, like, <laughs> scraping your bottom. <laughs> See, Bailey only comes over here when we need him to mark his territory keep predators out of the this side of the yard so nobody messes with the ducks yeah he's just gonna do his marking 
keep yep, stuff just away from my job. ducks. Now you all are wondering how the quail are doing. They're all still good. Hey guys. Hello, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? You got some treats? We like while. treats. Give us treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the treats. Treats, 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 treats. <laughs> there you go. There's the quail. Well, that's one cage at least. A lot of them are over there too. Let's see what these, these are the younger of the bunch. I mean, they're all full grown, but. Oh, hello. Hi guys. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? <laughs> Right now, since it's winter, they're not producing any eggs. So once spring comes, I'm sure they'll be producing eggs. Same with, once spring's here, these guys all produce eggs too. Jumping? Yep. Jump, jump. <laughs> yeah, look at it. All the animals get along, which is nice. Now, I, I don't know about, <clears throat> we wouldn't do this with Drake because he has that natural predator instinct. But Bailey's such a gentle giant, I ain't, I know he's okay with them. And Minnie is just too small to be a, you know, want to hunt these guys because they're bigger than her. Maybe some little varmints she would go for, but <clears throat> not these guys. Right, Bailey? You a gentle giant? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a lap dog. Yeah. Fred, that's not the... You're not supposed to go on the outside. You're supposed to jump on the inside. Well, another day, another project. I had these closet doors up in the attic above the garage. And when I pulled them out, it scraped the paint off and whatnot. Plus, the attic heat kind of just made all this paint kind of come off anyways but when we bought the house the owner previous owner just had them all like just sprayed so they just they went over the original paint instead of actually doing it the right way which you got to strip it and then repaint it but as a quick way to to make everything white they just sprayed over it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna strip all the paint off I'm gonna take all these completely apart. Cambry's got an idea she wants to try. We'll see how it works. I think I'll test it on one. Either way, I'm gonna strip all of them. We got four doors to do for the closets. But we'll try her idea on one and see if it'll work. If not, well, then we just gotta replace one set of doors versus all of them. But first things first, we're gonna do just like we did with our front door, we're gonna strip all this off with my surface reconditioner. So we'll get it all down to bare wood and then we will see if Cambria's idea is gonna work. Cambria found, saw something online where somebody took out all these middle slots and what they did is they put a, a concaved solid piece in instead. So got rid of all the slots and did a solid, made it more look like a, a normal door. So I am going to cut these out. We're going to test it. I wanted to test it on one that I haven't done you know like 
totally ripped all the, the paint off before I go in and destroy them all. So I'm gonna test it on one. So I'm gonna cut out all these slots, put in a piece and go from there. This is what it looks like after getting everything off. And if that whole cutting the slots out thing works, then I'll just cut these out. But I wanna test it first on one that I haven't put all the work into, stripping all the stuff off. Because I gotta do so many. I got four sets of doors and it's two doors per set. So it's a lot. And I did the front and the back. So, I mean, this is what the back looks like. They didn't really paint the back, there's just overspray and yeah. So, time to get creative and do some testing. It's a new day. I'm out in the garage again. And yeah, I, this door with the original plan is not going to plan. <laughs> it's kind of screwed up. You can see it's in pieces. What I tried doing <clears throat> is using the router and route out a channel so I could do that inlay. Well, it's, it's not going as planned. So went to the store, got some materials, got a new plan. And basically, if this new plan works, I should be able to do each set of doors for about $30. Hopefully, it goes to plan. I don't know. But the alternative to what I hope to accomplish is um to like buy like replace these doors it's over a hundred dollars per you know per the door it's like a hundred seven or more depending on what one you want i think if i was going to replace it with these exact doors it's at like a hundred thirty dollars the doors that i the design we want to go to is a hundred and seven dollars so if i can redo these for thirty dollars and still use them that ultimately is a win so i got some materials i gotta put this door back together and uh, hopefully it looks good when it's done because right now it looks like crap but uh we'll see <laughs> did not go to plan.
you go. Before, after. So that's, now granted, these ain't finished yet. They still have to get their, you know, their paints, primer paint, paint, all that good stuff done to them. And that's Cambria's department, not mine. So that's what they look like before they have their finished coat on them. So we went from this to this design. I think it turned out pretty good. It's definitely unique. And like I said, if you do how much the wood and the paneling, you're at about $30 for this, these two right here. So a lot cheaper than the $107 door, the door set. So there we go. Now I just got to do three more sets. Yay. And if you're wondering what the finished product's going to look like, you're going to have to watch Living with Cambria's channel because she is going to have the final room reveal. This is just merely a part of that process of redoing the boys room and Freya's room. So get to see what the doors at least are going to look like. And that's about it. But yeah. You're gonna have to watch Living with Cambrias to get the final deal. All right, so Bobby is currently outside. He is working on those doors still. Um, he's got those uh, first set of doors done, but not the rest of them. So if you hear stuff in the background, that's why. However, I wanted to make some granola cereal. I actually saw um, Tana's Happy Home make some, and she says she makes it every single month, uh, beginning of the month for the kids instead of buying cereal. And my kids love cereal as like a snack, so I hate not having it for them, but it would be really nice to have something that I make, I know what's in it, like a lot easier. So I'm gonna try that today, see if the kids like it, cross my fingers, just cause I think it's just gonna be a lot, I don't know, better than the stuff that you get at the grocery store already. So I got the stuff to do it. And it sounds like it's pretty much, I don't know, a lot of eyeballing it to figure out exactly what you want but big thing is honey um i saw someone do brown sugar which i'm gonna do make it a little extra sweet for the kids Ooh. salt salt what else what am i missing oh i was gonna add nuts and toasted coconut as well um so you can do almonds or just all sorts of stuff so i'm eyeballing this so i do about that much <laughs> of the old-fashioned oats and this is the whole grain i'm not going to do too many of these nuts and i want them smaller so i'm going to break them up I swear you get older and you definitely turn into a grandma just because you learn so much more. Like when you're young and dumb, um, and I don't say that to be disrespectful in any way, but like you just don't know as much when you're younger. So you're young and dumb. And then as you get older, you start like learning about all the junk that's out there and you get to where you want to become more and more self-sufficient and trying to get healthier stuff for yourself and your kids and yeah. Still trying to keep it fun because obviously the kids enjoy cereal and stuff like that, but. And then I have some toasted coconut. I'm gonna add some of this. I have brown sugar. I just didn't know how much I had, so I ordered more. See, I knew I was getting low. That is why I ordered more, because I knew I was getting low. I'm gonna do half a cup. I may lessen this in a future recipe uh, once I have an idea of the flavors, but since I haven't made this before and don't have an idea of the flavors, I'm just kind of winging it. Add some salt and then honey. I 
generous amount of honey because this is really what is going to hold it all together. So, new honey. Oh, and I wanted to add cinnamon. especially since I already have this all in a bowl. Um, now from what I've seen, people say to really mix and mix and mix until it's all combined and that it may not seem like enough honey at first, but as you mix it, it all comes together. So mix it faster. And then like once this is done, that is when I will add um, the raisins and stuff like that. Try and spread it out as evenly as possible on this tray. show them what I'm doing. Um, in here, this is just um, chicken thighs, boneless skinless, and broccoli. So this will be very macro friendly for Bobby and I, and the kids will like it. So it works out well. I said chicken broccoli in here. I have cream cheese, and I'm going to add some sour cream. Sour cream? I want to use the same sponge though that I used for the granola, so now I have to quickly clean this. Hey Xander, would you mind unloading the dishwasher for me when you have a second? I'm gonna mix this all together. What? And then I wanna add the seasoning to this as well. So, actually I haven't seasoned anything. Crazy. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna salt and pepper the broccoli and chicken. I'm also gonna add some to this. Yeah. I upgraded my tier too early, and I have to use an extremely good character to get the stuff back. Because when you upgrade your tier, oh, this is just garlic. When you upgrade your tier, sometimes the character instead of using the Oh. into everything. I don't have to have it perfectly mixed because it'll all blend as it cooks, but I do want it somewhat combined all over. So that, and then I'm gonna do some sharp cheddar on top. All right, so this is what dinner is looking like. And then the timer went off for the granola, just for the first 15 minutes. So, ooh, it's warm. Ooh. So take that out and I'll flip it real quick. All right, so here's dinner all cooked. Also, I have the granola in the bowl cooling. I could have used to cook it for probably five minutes less, but all the kids tried it and said it was good. So that's dinner. So here's the dinner that Cambria made. What is this? Pork and that's chicken, chicken and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli and cheese. For us and for the kids, it's same thing except they get noodles. You want some? 
Sure, we can do that. Yeah, no, he's you don't want this. His already spicy. now he's, he's got noodles. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, you do. You want somebody that spice? You want yeah. some spice? <laughs> hey, I'm burping at the table. Say excuse me. Uh, you gonna eat, it, Freya? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eating, eating with your princess crown on? Yeah. Yeah. Princess crown eat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm made for a tumor princess. It makes you turn into a princess? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, make sure you eat your princess food. Princess food. Thank you for watching our video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And make sure you stay tuned to live with Living with Cambria's channel because that's where you're going to actually see like the room transformations and everything like that. Kind of like the, the grunt work is going to be more on this channel. Maybe I'll have a little bit of, you know, how the room's turning out. But overall, if you want to see how the rooms are going to end up, you got to go to her channel. So if you like this video, make sure... You hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or you just want to leave a comment, leave a comment. But if you have questions, drop a comment, whatever your question is, and uh, let us know. Um, I tried to show, you know, all the tools and whatnot just so you could see how they, you know, what I was doing. But, you know, maybe I didn't get the greatest views. I don't know. Up to you. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.